today that this match at Blundell Park would be, in his words, the toughest test of the season. Is he right to call it that way? Yeah, I think so. Um, we've had a few tough ones, um, which we've come through, really. Uh, tomorrow will be the same, because you would consider them to be one of the teams we've got to look for. Um, I think they're 11 unbeaten, something like that. So, uh, yeah, it will be a good one. It'll be a good test, because it's two of the big boys that you would think will be up there at the end of the season, so uh, we'll be ready for it. Playoffs, beaten in the semi-finals for two years, beaten in the final last year. It, it, it takes something to dust yourself down and keep going after that, which is what Grimsby have been through. Yeah, it's a bit unlucky, really, didn't they? I think they were quite unlucky last year. They, they probably were the better team overall in the game. Um, so, you know, and it's pretty much a similar squad. So we... It is good consistency for them to do that year after year, and I think they must be thinking, you know, one of these years has got to be them. Um, obviously, we're trying to do the same this year, so it's going to be a good test. Um, you know, we've got a good all-round team, good ability, and uh, we've we've got to be ready for it. As a player, sort of match you want to play in, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, a good, good crowd on it. I think they've put a few things on, um, selling fish and things like that, and Halloween masks and stuff. So, it you know, it's the sort of thing we did last year, wasn't it, with... Um, with the crowd and try to make an event of every game so you know it's going to be like that Friday night TV as well added to it it's going to be a good atmosphere and uh, I think one of the boys should should relish it's a, a little knowledge is a dangerous thing Harry Pell was at Grimsby for a month last year and Daniel Parslow was there for most of the season yeah. have you been able to tap into Daniel's knowledge at all? we've um, not really because we've obviously concentrated with the, the replay first um, I'm sure we will do but uh, both, yeah, like I say, both lads. Pars was there for a long time, and uh, Pelly was one of his fifty clubs that he's been at in, in his short spell. So um, yeah, we'll we'll have a chat with him, I'm sure, about certain players. And uh, Downs has played with a few of them as well, I think. So you know, we've got enough in and around us uh, to uh, to know what we're going to come up against. I spoke to one manager the other day who used the line that other managers couldn't guess him; they wouldn't know what, couldn't predict what he would do. What do you think, Thank manager? I'm, I'm not going to say. <laughs> um, so, have you any idea what you think Paul Hurst might do tactically? We've, or well, we can go on what they've done before. So, uh, and and trends. That's what we go by. Um, we've got uh, a game or two that we can look at as well. So, you know, we'll we'll just go on what we think may maybe a fairly consistent squad that the team that they'll have out. So, and then we'll, you know, and and a lot of it's. Yeah, it's about some of what they do, but it's about what we do as well and getting our boys ready for um, you know, their third game in six days, which uh, you know, we'll, we'll be ready to do that. What news on Amari's ankle? Because he had a scan, didn't he? He's having one, so he's not had one yet. Um, so, I mean, that's the obvious one that limped off after two minutes. Um, so uh, he's going to have a scan, yeah, uh, in the next day or so. So we'll have to wait and see. Gary spoke about the, um, the little and large, Billy... Yeah. Waters and Danny Wright. Do you think they can work as as a combination together, having not played a huge amount, only in bits and pieces through most of the season so yeah, far? Yeah, I'm sure they can. Uh, both good players, both complement each other really well. Uh, so there's no reason why not. Um, we put a couple of things in place for them to to look at as well. And uh, you know, Wright is in great form at the minute, um, and Billy's Billy's a good player. So you know, they, they both. Good, good types to have up top. Okay, uh, how's, how are you enjoying, especially the preseason? How are you enjoying this season compared to last? It <laughs> must be a bit more stable, yeah, must not it? No, it is, yeah, it's a million miles away <laughs> from it. Yeah, um, you, you get, a, you, you, you know, well, I think from from day one we we knew that we had a good good group here, and we've added you know a couple to it as well. So um, it, it, it's been really good. Um, the boys that are here from last year, you know, know the diff- can see the difference as well. Some of them wouldn't have been in this sort of dressing room before, mm. uh, and they can see what you know, you know what's expected. And it's got a, a feel of um, times past that have been successful. Um, obviously, you know, that's a long season, and there's uh, form, fitness, and injury suspensions to to, to take into account. But uh, as a team spirit and a group of lads, yes, it's, it's great. Is that vital for three games in six days? Do you, th- do you feel last season's team might have sort of imploded under yeah. that? This, this season's got a bit more, yeah, bit more no, to it. Yeah, a bit more steel, a bit more camaraderie and, a, uh, and and doing a bit for each other, you know. There's, there's that, uh, they go the extra yards for each other, so which is which is very important. Um, and, uh, you know, they all, they all get on really well and there's little groups of them that 
you know, sort of get, some live together and some yeah. go out together and whatever, go, you know, car, the car school and, you know, but they, when they come together, they're all, you know, you wouldn't really know that, but um, it's, it's, it's a great group this year, yeah. And, and a clean sheet on Tuesday, which was, which is, I think, vital for a bit of confidence after eight games without one. Yeah, it's um, surprising, isn't it, that we went that long without mm. one, really, so, but uh, it was good to get one, yeah, definitely. Um, and uh, a couple of games, I think we've been a bit unfortunate to concede, um, but, uh, you know, every game you go out to, you just got to score one more than the other, whether it's 4-3, 3-2, 5-4, whatever. Um, but clean sheets will be something that we'll be trying to, to get back into the game. As a, as a former creative midfielder yourself, how, how impressed have you been with the way that Paddy, Stoz and, and Munns have, have, have sort of linked together and sort of adapted into different sort of roles in the side? Yeah, they've, been, they've, they've done really well. It's, it's sometimes good to have a three net, sometimes difficult... Um, you know, but uh, overall they've they've you know we couldn't ask much more from them. Um, they're scoring, assisting, creating. Uh, they, they've got a good all-round game, all three of them. Um, you know, and obviously we just got to manage their their minutes and their their time on the pitch. But been really impressed with all three of them. Great lads. And then you've got uh, you know you, you, people to come in as well. Aces Aces mm. done well when he's come in. Um, so you've got dates coming in now. Uh, Rowie's there as well. There's you know there's there's ample. To, to come in as well to, to back him up. Is Dixon beginning to give you a, a bit of a problem with with what, what he can bring, something completely different? He, he's shown in his two games his ability to sort of create and, and make chances for himself. Yeah, he's um, he, he's he's come on a lot in the last month, I think three or four weeks he's been with us. Um, and he, 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 you know, he knows that and says that himself, but a terrific lad, great player, very good uh, awareness and he's just a, a good footballer you know that can do the right things at the right time which is obviously key to where he's been playing before um it's probably a bit unfortunate that he hasn't got a club you know before now so um travesty to the game really when you think about the ability he's got and he can't get a club so um we're, we're pleased to have him here and uh, hopefully he can progress on bit bit similar to the Clive Walker situation back in the day isn't yeah, it yeah <laughs> yeah 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 no well, Clive came in didn't he midway through it was about October time wasn't it mm. September October time during our Season we went up was it? No, it was the one before, before the and then he was there. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, if he can have that sort of impact, it'd be great, you know, because um, you know I think Bates can play off the front as well, you know, alongside righty as well. So there's no, no you know, you can fill a two or three positions, play right or left. So uh, if needed, if we need to change things, and um, he's a good addition. Finally, tomorrow does give you a chance to to steal a, a march on the rest and, and move into that top spot. I mean, uh, you've had a couple of chances to take over for us, yeah. and only the Bromley game, uh, yeah. sorry, the Braintree game, where you've got a point you sort of sort of limped over there. Yeah. Is there a is there a determination for the squad to say right, let's let's take one of these chances? Um, yeah, there is, um, but without you know without putting too much on it, really, you, you just got to break it down. Really, um, you want to be there at the end of this season, not now so much. Be nice to get there and get ahead, obviously, but um, you know we've just got to break things down and take it game by game, minute by minute in each game, you know, and do the next thing you do well, and hopefully it'll take you where you want to get to. And uh, that's how we've looked at things. Won't be any different. Um, the performances are always important because if you get your performances right, you more often than not what you know get the results to go with it. So uh, that's what we'll be concentrating on. And if it takes us there, then great. You'd have to buy an extra cushion for the bus. Considering the amount of time yeah, you've we've had a bit, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Hartley Hall as well, mate. No? I've read a tweet. How many hours of uh, well, eleven hundred been done? It was eleven hundred miles uh, after the after the Bromley game in in eleven days, yeah. and it's probably similar again now. Well, we've had Grimsby and Hartlepool, and then Southport as yeah, well. Yeah, we've had a you know our last eleven twelve games have been all against teams in form, teams in you know bar two or three teams that are in the top six, seven, eight, and we've had a tough uh, you know game. That haven't we had some good experienced players? Um, and you know, credit to the boys that we've, you know, got more or less results in most games of those, and um, are still where we are. So, you know, it's, it's another one that we've got a hurdle that we've got to get over. And um, you know, I'm sure sure the boys will give it their best. Yeah, four hours there and four hours back on a bus with Steve Book can't be easy. He's a great bookie. <laughs> he's, he's got ample jokes. I'm sure he'll come up with a few. So uh, yeah, no, they'll be fine. Yeah, I could I could think of worse people to be spending it with than, than bookie. <laughs> Excellent.